Hey logical people, CKV here. Today we will learn how to extract text from a given PDF file using PyMo PDF package with Python. There's an official documentation for the library. Um, there's a lot of things in this documentation that you can go on with. Um, for example, they have a collection of recipes where you can work with images, images within the PDF, text of the PDF, annotations and whatnot. We're going to focus on the text part of it because this will be helpful if you want to do some sort of uh, NLP, natural language processing, <coughs> using books and, and using text. Okay. So the first thing is we want to install PyMo PDF. This is not the default package that comes with Google Colab. So we will be using pip command to install this package. So we'll say pip install PyMo PDF like that. We'll press control enter this will install our dependencies now we're going to import this so that we can use it so we'll say import fits fits is the package that comes with PyMo pdf so we'll we will import that and that should be good enough now since we have imported the library let's upload a pdf file that we would like to read so i have arranged a pdf for you so i'm gonna just upload it here i'll copy the path of the pdf like that and then we're gonna use that pdf here I'm going to create a constant. I'll say file path like that. <clears throat> I'll paste it and I'll say PDF equals to fits.open. And that's how you open the file. And this will provide you an object PDF that will contain uh, all the reference and everything that you need to understand, that you need to know in order to read this PDF. So let's open that PDF file that we uploaded so that we understand how this PDF file looks. So this file has some table of content. Then it has different chapters. So chapter 1, Rule 1. Then we have some pages. And then there should be Chapter 2 and then, I don't know, Chapter 3 and so on. So this is Chapter 2 and so on. So our target is to read this PDF file in a text format and then display this in whichever way we want. Okay. So the way we are reading our PDF file is by directly upload, uploading it to, to our notebook. The better use case would be that you let a user upload a file using an app. And once the file is uploaded, that file is sent to an API server. And, that it, and then that API server will, will process that file. And then it will return the text of, of that PDF file. Uh, same way that if I go to speech AI, um, you will see that uh, you could select a file, for example. And I can select any PDF for it for that matter. And then I can select, say, uh, let's say I say this is private and I click on listen. And then this file is basically processed at the background. Now I have the text of the PDF like that. So this is a better way of doing this, but for our demonstration purpose, this is good enough. So we have read the file. Now let's see the metadata about PDF. So I'll say PDF dot metadata like that. This will return a JSON document that will contain all the details, um, who is the author, what is the creation date. So here we got the metadata. Now let's see how we can get the table of content. So that is also very simple. We need to say PDF dot tech toc. This is a function, and this will return a list of list. So PDF dot get toc will return a list of list, and each item in the list will contain three items. The second item, I'm not sure about the first item, but the second item is uh, the name of the chapter, and second item is the page on which uh, uh, this chapter starts. Okay, so once we have the table of contents, we can also get the page count so that we know how many pages are there in this PDF. So I could say PDF dot page underscore count like that. And it says there are 375 pages in this book, which is nothing good enough. And now the important part comes in that how do we get the text of a page? And that's also very simple. We can say PDF dot load underscore page. And here we need to provide the index of the page. So for example, if I say 10 and then I say dot get underscore text, this will give me the text of page number 10. And the text that you receive will always be a tab separated. So it's always a good idea to say something like this. You will say Please replace all the tab with a space like that. And now you have a proper 
proper text of the page. Um, you can also say you can also you could also store this in a variable. So I'll say page content is that, and then you can say print page content. So it looks much better. And now now we are printing the page. So it says don't even know he's alive. It was quite a sight to see such a brilliant man flustered. And if we go to our PDF and if we go to page number ten. On page number 11, we see we indeed see the same text. You should notice by now that this is not the page number per se. This is the index of the page. So the first page is index 0 and so on. All right. Um, as a bonus, let's prepare a function that gives us a text of a book in a, in a JSON format. So let's see how that would look. I would say def get book content like that. That's a PDF underscore file. Our goal is to start from zero and go until last page, get all the text as a list. So let's do that. So we will say um, num, num underscore pages equals to PDF file dot page underscore count like that. And then we will say book underscore content. We will initialize it with an empty list and then we will run a loop. We'll say for i in range, we'll start from zero. If you remember, the page number starts with a zero index. So first page is at zero index. And then we'll say go until num pages like that. And here I will say page is equal to PDF file dot load underscore page. Then I can say page. Text equals to page dot get text. That's a function, right? And then I'll say raw underscore text. That would be page text dot replace as we did earlier. And we're gonna replace all the tabs with a space like that. And then we will say book content dot append raw underscore text like that. Brilliant. And now we can say book equals to get book content, and that would be PDF. But now I can say I could basically say book of zero. So my bad, we did not return anything, so we need to return book content. Back. Rerun the rerun the cell. Uh, rerun this. Now we have there's nothing on page one. Nothing on page two, nothing on page three, that is weird. So page three we got dedication, page number ten, page eleven basically is this. Now we can print it. And there you go. Now um imagine that you are running this at the background somewhere at as a REST API. You could basically return this list and then this list will contain all the text in the PDF. Alright, that's all for this video. I hope you liked the video. And if you did, please hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel and do let me in the comment section what did you like, what you don't like, or if you want to learn something new. As always, the code will be available on the GitHub and I will provide the link in the descriptions. So, see you later. Bye.